be all right if the wind was in our sails. So we'd be all right if the wind was in our sails. So we'd be all right if the wind was in our sails. And we'll all hang on to be high. And we'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. We'll roll the old chariot along. If we make it around the horn, oh, it'd be all right. If we make it around the horn, oh, it'd be all right. If Hi, fellas. Here you see my manual bilge pump of my Deller Delanta. I've seen these a couple of times installed, roughly at the same spot, so I do think they are original. This means this bilge pump is 46 years old. Although I also seen 76 AKs and 80 AKs without this installed. So maybe it was an option or from a certain build year or something like that. How did you like the song at the start? Sweet, right? Some Celtic singing. On my Facebook I shared a couple of these by David Coffin. Link down in the description section. Right underneath the subscription button. Wink, wink. This was how it was locked in place with these things. Luckily, I can score high on my cube just to find stuff like that, otherwise you would break it. <laughs> this is the lever of the bilge pump, the manual bilge pump. Whew, here we have it. Finally. That was annoying. In Western Germany. This is a little ball. <laughs> I cleaned it, it was all dirty and stuff. Everything was greasy and so it's it's locked in place with these little plugs Yeah, these plastic plugs You would say it's not strong enough, but it's holding for 45 years. So it's probably strong enough Everything is working fine. The ball here the ball is stopping the water to flow back because this is the pickup and this is the outlet so it picks it up the water comes through and then you're at the top of your lever stops going up this drops and you don't have a backflow so the pump stays full of water but when it's filled with water everything is watertight even this loosey loosey thingy which is uh, usable for debris you can have stones here or heavy stuff that can pass the ball and then you can clean it so that's why it's loosey loosey and it's it's too loose so maybe i need to tie up this down or whatever we'll see but everything is watertight this is watertight the ball is airtight even the plunger it's perfect it's working condition but it loses water between here and that's because there's a crack here see there's a crack here it's soft plastic i don't think it's abs but i'm gonna use this glue which is perfect for pvc and i think it's pvc abs polycarbonate acryl glass backlit and polyester so yeah it's for sure not backlit it's the era though it's it's from the era backlit but it's for sure not backlit is hard and for sure not uh, as soft as this so i think it's pvc and this can be abs but they're gonna be in perfect condition for this so i'm gonna glue this i can't find this anywhere anymore it's 45 years old it's it's not in production anymore so it's this or throwing it away and replacing it with a modern one but this is perfect it's 45 years old it's working perfect the rubbers are uh, built to last everything is built to last it's 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 not like the nowadays kind of crap that every year needs replacement or whatever or uh, uh, you need the plungers, the, 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 the ball is, is worn out or whatever. This is built to last. So I really want to save this because this saves me money. 
So I'm gonna dry this out really, really well. And then I'm gonna make these two components bison, fully retained glue. Closed up. Now it needs to fully harden. It needs around 24 hours. So tomorrow I'm gonna test this. When I took this uh, apart, it already had some sort of glue in it. I think I have that on camera when I disassemble this. So they already fixed it, but it was really gooey glue. It was nothing strong. Maybe it broke down because of the water, because of the moist, but we'll see. And then this, oh, now it's on there. What? Oh, you need to really press it over it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, now it's perfect. Okay, okay, I didn't know that. Bam. Okay, we're now approximately uh, 12 to 15 hours further and this is the leftovers that I kept just to check and it's still a little bit soft you can make an imprint with a screwdriver but it's possible with your nails but it hurts so this is gonna be 
one solid fix, I think. Yeah. Okay. See, it doesn't stick to anything, but to itself, it's sticking awesomely. See, now I'm around it. Now it sticks to itself almost perfectly. I have here a salt water resistant universal grease. help it uh, making it watertight and vacuum and stuff. Let's test this Sigafix. 291i We have a bridge, we have water in the boat. It comes in with buckets, as you can see, black buckets. So the pump is connected to this tube and it's in the bucket. Now let's check it out. I keep my vacuum because everything is now lubricated and closed. I start pumping immediately. Normally, the first two pumps are air. So, this is in working condition. Perfect. Salvaged a very old pump. 